Hello and welcome to the Multitreat 7 screen capture video. My name is Jane Radford and I will be giving quite a detailed overview of this radionic treatment programme. We will be looking at opening the programme for the first time, inputting information into the various fields and also accessing the treatment editor. So looking at the desktop, here you can see uh, the Multitreat 7 icons. The blue caduceus icon is the Multitreat 7 program and the red one is the Multitreat 7 treatment editor. We will begin by opening the Multitreat 7 program and this is how it will appear when you open it for the first time. When Multitreat 7 is started for the first time, this is how it will look. It's saying that there's no treat treatments queued up to press return to start Multitreat. You now have a flashing cursor in this small area of the screen at the bottom. This area is empty because of there are no treatments waiting to go through. So if we press return where there's the flashing cursor and type in treat and return, we're prompted to insert an identification rate. This represents the target that we're treating. The target name is an optional field. You don't need to fill that in, but you might find it useful. And here we're putting in our rates or numerical identifications for treatments. The level, which we can say is the molecular level, treatment time, 15 minutes, total treatments, 31 treatments or days. On the prompt for the next treatment rate, you can either carry on inserting your treatment rates or press return again to initiate these treatments. These treatments count down in 10 second in intervals. I'm now going to show you how Multitreat 7 appears when you initiate your second day's treatments. Uh, on opening Multitreat, the program indicate, indicates that there are disk treatments enqueued. So rather than pressing return, you're going to treat, type in y for yes or n for no if you don't want the treatments to start and press the return button. Uh, you've got this the same screen coming up, uh, this large area which will display the treatments that you put in the day before and they've come up now as you can see the 10 second, they take showing a counter every 10 seconds and this uh, input area uh, it is blank ready for you to insert uh, new treatments that you've derived from your analyses for that day. This is the treatment editor screen for Multitreat 7. As you can see we've got um, the first target that we input into, into Multitreat which was the Collie Cross Dog and in treatment editor we have the opportunity or the facility to change any mistakes or changes in treatments that we want to make. So what I'll be doing here is that I want to update a treatment which is represented by you and I get the opportunity to change any of those input items that I put in. Here I've realised this is a scenario that I put gave this target the wrong target identification. So I'm going to put in the correct target identification and update the information. The rest of the information in this scenario I'm considering to be correct. So I go through, as you can see you've got the opportunities to change any, either the rates or the levels or the treatment time. 
number of days, etc. If we go N, we get the next item that we put up, which was um, a fictitious client X. Um, and we can do the same there. Otherwise, we type in E to save our changes and exit. Thank you for watching this framework dowsing video about the input of information into the various fields of Multitreat 7. There's much more information about this radionic computer treatment program on the Framework Dowsing webpage.